This is the Miami Biltmore, and this is a classic. And they've got a classic golf course by one of the classic designers, Donald Ross. Let's take a look at it. The year was 1925 when developer George Merrick got together with hotel magnate John Bowman. Ten months later, one of the great hotels of the world made its debut. The Biltmore played host to royalty, both Europe's and Hollywood's, and golf has its own royalty. They brought in the revered Scotsman Donald Ross. Maintaining his original routing from 1925, Brian Silva updated the greens, tees, and bunkers, and a contemporary grass was put into place. As famous as any pool in America, the Biltmore Romanesque statues grace the length of this gleaming pool. It's an unforgettable and historic pool with its own private cabanas poolside. Romantically elegant, the Biltmore features lush landscaping, even in its courtyard grill, with its imposing central fountain. If you're a golfer, you'll love the practice facility. They have a private instruction area and one of the top golf learning programs in the state. So you've got a lot of talent. you got some work to do. You yeah, some I have some homework that I have to do, and yeah. I'm going to come see Justin again uh, next few weeks. We're going to build a foundation and get him going. Once you learn the game, you can play it for the rest of your life. At the Biltmore, Donald Ross set up the course so everyone can have fun. Everyone from every age and ability. One of my favorite holes on the course is number seven a par four that runs along the canal, and then you have to shoot over the canal. It's a challenge, and it's a fun hole to play. One of the most iconic holes on the course is number 12, a par three that goes from 133 yards to 211 yards. The back of the green is an excellent place to take a photo. It's one you'll never forget. The par four 17th is a great hole. You've got the canal all down the left-hand side, and it looks as though you're shooting to an island green. The canal has a lot of history. In the early days, gondolas were taken from the Biltmore to Tahiti Beach. Today, there are no gondoliers, and there are no gondolas. But you can feel the history here at the Biltmore. They take pride in preserving this wonderful piece of Americana. And they take pride in preserving a historic feeling in many areas of the lobby. The Biltmore has its own culinary academy, a recreational hands-on cooking school, with classes for adults and children taught by the hotel chefs. Rest in a regal, calming and soothing bed at one of America's treasures and historic landmark, the Biltmore Hotel.